Hi everyone, it's Kat. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe the video down below so you can watch all my new videos. And thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to do a really, really simple DIY project. It's a wreath and we're going to add flowers to it with hot glue. I should probably put in my hot glue gun. The things that you need for this project are a wreath. I just have an 18 inch grapevine wreath from Michaels. And it was only $4.99 for this big wreath. And I also have my hot glue gun and extra glue sticks, scissors, and the flowers you're gonna be using. I'm using these magnolia flowers. They were $12.99 at Michaels, but they're half off so they're only about six dollars and fifty cents so for this whole thing it's only about a little over ten dollars to do this whole project about ten dollars and fifty cents um because you've seen the wreaths in the store they're all beautiful but they cost like forty some dollars just for a simple wreath that you can make really easily for a lot less money at home so first you want to take off the flowers they just pop right off I'm gonna pop all mine off I'm not sure exactly how many I'm gonna use but it's better to take off more than you need just in case so I'm just gonna pop all of them off right now and I'm gonna start with I like to have mine in the corner so well I need to break off that extra branch and this extra branch. Okay, so this is the wreath when you start out. Now just put a big dab of hot glue right at the corner. Oh yeah. At the corner? Yes, sweetie. Huh? Go play upstairs. That's my youngest. He's four, you could probably hear him in the background. Okay, so I have a huge dab of hot glue right in the corner, and I'm gonna pick one of the big flowers and pop it right there and press down, but be careful, you do not wanna burn yourself. So just don't touch the glue, just touch around the flower. And make sure that's stuck on pretty good. I'm gonna do a bigger cluster of flowers that fan out to a smaller amount. So then I gotta add some more glue to go right next to it and pop this other flower on here. Right there. So you can see, this is what it looks like so far. It's really simple. This is a project that anyone can do themselves and you don't need a lot of crafty know-how to do it. I know a lot of DIY projects seem very taunting. I'm gonna put another one right next to this one on the other side. Sometimes DIY projects seem a little scary to do or a little daunting, um, but that's why I'm making this video. So you know that it's actually really easy. It doesn't take that much time and anyone can do it themselves. Okay, so after three flowers are attached, this is what it looks like. It's really cute so far. And now I'm gonna put the other two fanning it on the other side. So just add a lot of glue because you want it to stick. I love doing DIY projects because then no one else will have the same stuff that you have and your home will always look really special and it won't look the same as everyone else's house but you don't want your house to look exactly like everyone else's it's an expression of who you are and what you love okay and the last you flower video. You video. the last flower you know I added another glue stick because I'm running out. Goes on the very side of all of these ones. Okay. And just press that down. 
I think I might actually add some of these leaves as well, which they just pop off. I'm gonna add one leaf on each end. Just hot glue that down just for an extra added touch. It gives it a little bit more color and I think it finishes it off. Okay, so I'm just gonna add the glue to the leaf right here. And press that down on the side right here and the last leaf just add some glue on it onto the back you see that this is how much glue I'm using and pop that right there on the side okay and that's how easy it is to make your own wreath this is the finished product all done and it's ready to hang you can hang it with ribbon you can just hang it with a hook i like it just the way it is without any ribbon so i'm gonna leave it like this and probably hang it on my door i'm not exactly sure maybe it'll go over a mirror i don't know but that's the finished project and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope that you guys make this wreath and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And if you have any questions or comments, oh, here's my little one right here. He's the one making all the noise. <laughs> if you have any questions or comments about this project, just leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you.